have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, my brother, my sister. We greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord. And we thank him for allowing us to be together. Uh, let me um Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we um, proficiently um, broadcasting this morning over um, our our internet radio station, and um, getting a little feedback. I think I better uh, uh, disconnect um, something here. This so, uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, let me let me press on. Let me press on. Let me press on. I'm not going to uh, despair right now. I'm going to uh, seek to inspire uh, as uh, we share our devotion for this morning, uh, 31 days of biblical empowerment, and um, maybe I just did something that may help our sound in the background, turn down what is coming through the board, uh, and if I get a phone call, this is something, and you can, you can call, that's the other side too, uh, you can call. The, the number you can dial from all over uh, the country, as well as outside of the country, is our area code, 757. We don't, we don't have this register right now, uh, where we can put the phone number in, 757-424-5673. So we celebrate the power of uh, uh, broadcasting across America, across the world, and this is only the first day. There's some other configurations we're about to plug in that the Lord has made available to us uh, to inspire the populace uh, with the priesthood of prayer in the morning to get our day started and to celebrate the power of life and living that he provides. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. And all the people of the Lord said, Amen, Amen. Amen and amen. Okay, so now I've turned a little volume down on the iPad and I'm ready to press on now. Uh, just in case you have uh, a prayer request, uh, you can call in now and that number you can dial is 757-424-5673. No, no, 757-424-5776. Uh, this takes me back a little to my uh, early years in ministry and broadcasting as I associated with uh, my friend and um, a mentor, Bishop L. E. Willis, who had what is called the Crusade for Christ. And um, every morning, Monday through Friday, we would uh, gather at, at 6 a.m. in the morning and then come back at 4 p.m. in the evening and uh, inspiring, inspiring nations 
over 52 radio stations were connected to those two broadcasts and much was enabled to be done in the name and the spirit of our God. And uh, we're not trying to duplicate it, we're just trying to do our part. My, my, my sons, um, especially in this instance, uh, Elder Ronnie Joyner II uh, is uh, engineering this, putting it together. My other son, Julian, that was also uh, a part of the uh, ministry staff at uh, uh, Willis Broadcasting, is now um, uh, operations uh, manager of uh, Praise Radio uh, across the country as well. So I guess that's part of our ministry. Uh, we. We, 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 we got to get the word out. We got to get the word out. And the word today from 31 Days of Biblical Empowerment, uh, yesterday was an E, Emmanuel, God with us. Today it is E again, N, E-N-D. Jesus is the end, the end. Romans chapter uh, 10, verse 4, becomes our central uh, text of uh, this interest of end. It says, for Christ is the end, E-N-D, of the law, for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes, Romans 10 and 4. Then, uh, extending the meditation, let me give you something else to deposit in your spirit. John 1, 1, John 1, 1, John 1, 1, which says, in the beginning was the word. So I'm going from the end and going back to the beginning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So today, throughout this day, God has outlined a plan for your life. Your life has been worded, W-O-R-D-E-D, worded from, from the beginning, <laughs> to the end of this day. So, what do you read? What, 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 what will you read? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, with, with God. So, that um, uh, studious reflection upon yesterday with Emmanuel, which says God with us, and now the Word was with God. And the word was God. So what do you read? What do you read in the forecast of the morning? What, what, what are you reading toward uh, moving through the morning's hour toward noonday? What are you reading uh, from God uh, as your surroundings uh, give text and uh, temperament? to the way you are reading and receiving and conceptualizing the move of God in your life. What, what, what are you reading? What is the message God gave you to deliver today? God has given you a message. It's not a message of complaints because it's coming from God who takes your complaints and turn them into new commandments. Uh, what are you reading? He takes um, where, where you are. And in a sense, he does inform the oughtness of life. What you ought to be about, ought to be doing, ought to be thinking about. But, 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 but on the other side, whose life will you impact? Can impact lives with complaints and oughtness. Oughtness. Um, but 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 to get your rest now, then throughout this night, 
He will write your plan for tomorrow. So get your rest uh, after this day has come and gone and uh, history has recorded it. Uh, be on the positive side of God and not on a not in a position that is an antagonistic and uh, unproductive uh, but but that is in aligned with God in e n d what should not it cannot enter into the plane of eternity that God is authoring in him is the right way to live. In him is the goal for life and living today. In him is the completion of all that God expects. And if you just partner with him, the expectation of God shall be released. In you and through you. After all I have longed for and searched for, I can finally say, uh, after uh, April 1968, I believe it was, Jesus is it. He is my answer. He is my fulfilled desire. He is my satisfaction and now he is my everything he is my everything i went back to 1968 uh, um you know i preached my trial sermon uh march 31st 1974 but i had given my heart my mind my soul and my spirit to the lord in a revival meeting, Dr. Lion Low of New York was preaching there in my uh, my father-in-law's home church, uh, Little Zion Baptist Church, uh, uh, Highway 58, in the Chesapeake section of Virginia. Uh, I gave my hand to the preacher, but I gave God my heart. And devotionally, uh, have you given God your all, your your hand, your heart, your mind, your strength, uh, your future? And uh, then to see him order, order your steps and allow you to live uh, the type of life that he'll be proud of. That he is initiating even now. Well, I have an expected guest who's uh, who's coming. Uh, she might be on her way now. Yeah, from looking at the clock, which is about uh, six thirty-seven, and um, uh, she's in the car with her mama. Uh, her mama's on the way to school. Where she's part of the administration. And she's partying in the back seat with, with mom, bringing her to grandmom and granddad's house uh, for us to keep her as we kept her sister, who is 10 years older than she is. So uh, the illustration of uh, 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 being a place where God can trust you to bring an end to bring an end to um, uh, 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 not having someone they can trust who can nurture, who can aid, and who can assist them in being nurtured in the power and practice of what it means to live. And for mom and dad uh, to have uh, such trust in us to put uh, their precious little one, 23 months old, uh, into our hands. And, and, and hopefully, hopefully, because of the way their first child, 10 years older, Raina, uh, was, was molded and shaped, that uh, if it worked then, maybe it will work now. 
So we're in that nurturing mode, waiting for Noel to come. So you know, you know, and, and her name came as a, a ringing, a ringing in her mama's ears through a dream since it was in December that um, uh, the reflection of Noel to the, to the king, Noel to the king of life, the savior of the world, was ringing in her spirit. She said, why not during this month of uh, we celebrate his birth, we can't bring a Noel <laughs> into this world uh, to celebrate in our lives the fortunate blessing of one that God has entrusted to them, my baby boy Julian and his wife Trine, and now uh, to give us opportunity to um, be caretakers until they pick her up a little later on this evening. Uh, so for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes the end of the law. Now we do live according to the laws and standards and the law that he lived under was a precursor to what his dad would be introducing through him in the earth the whole tenor and temperament of uh, grace now produced by a faith uh, in the Lord God through his son the introductory life of Jesus of Nazareth and Jesus of whatever community you are in right now what, what's what's your native your native bearing place he's been lord of that and he's lord of your life right now as to wherever you are the seed of his nurturing has been planted in your life and we are excited to be uh, productions from the seed of the holy one he sat at table with his disciples uh, but the night before he goes to Calvary and he says one of you will betray me and not knowing specifically who he was talking about and feeling betrayal as part of their that their 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 own uh, ability to do um, for it was pregnant in each one of them. They all ask him, Lord, is it I? And then uh, to, to, re to increase him as the eye of their lives, to see heaven through him, um, he introduces um, the motif through which this mannerism of eternity would be magnified. He said, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Take, eat, this is my body. So as we take and eat this morning, on this 10th uh, day of uh, December, 2021, we celebrate the power of the one of the Christ who became the end of the law for righteousness who believes. But then the new beginnings, the new beginnings, the new beginnings, uh, this blood that we now partake of was shed on the cross of Calvary from the sixth to the ninth hour. And there were seven glorious definitive statements that he made, which references the seven parameters of life and living that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit introduces into the earth with the whole ingredient of a new beginning is thus 
our aspiration for life and living. So we take him in and let him be that addition in our lives, sanctifying addition, redemptive addition, eternal addition that uh, takes where the law ends and his 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 future becomes inclusive of ours <laughs> we can't live without him in the days ahead so now this walk of faith that uh, we're walking in one step after another we're walking in the footsteps of Jesus seeking to be all that uh, stepping with him allows us to become but then in a more definitive way uh, release the God presence uh, from heaven in the earth right now and for you and me to become standard bearers of the life of Christ at work today this bread this bread that we partook of is insulation for our respiratory system in the midst of this pandemic and uh, corona and its virus we are covered covered by his body and in this body of mine and of yours does his eternalness exist and then that blood that representative in that cup we drink has been added to um, the artery system everywhere our arteries run and, and to our veins everywhere uh, our veins run from the crowns of our heads to the very soles of our feet we, we have Christ Jesus on the inside of us uh, giving us a future and a hope that is tied to his eternalness. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Father be glory, majesty, dominion, and power at work in our lives all day long today and on the days to come until he comes to call us from labor to reward we insist you follow him all the way all the way i bid you god speed in your in your life and living in today and we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We turn you now to music as well as uh, reflections and encouragement and inspiration for this coming day. In Jesus' name, we pray and the people of God said amen and amen. Amen. We turn you now to music as well as